Yo, what's up, people? Twilly's Two Cents here. Today, I'm bringing you a fragrance from the house of Goldfield and Banks. So, if you want to know what that fragrance is, stay tuned and check it out. Welcome back to the video. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it and let's see what we got. Coming from the house of Goldfield and Banks, we have Island Lush. Let's go ahead and check out the presentation. We have the box, amazing colors on it. We have some gold metallic type of accenting on the top and bottom. Just overall, nice little colorway there. So, this is a sleeve. The box slides out from the side. And then we have it to where the box lifts up and the fragrance will be sitting in the box. So, you want to be careful with this so you won't end up you know snatching your bottle out and then your bottle end up flying across the room we don't want that comes with a little card in here that has some writing on the back stuff like that and yeah it's not what we're here for we're not here for the box we are here for the fragrance and this bottle is beautiful all gold fingerprint magnet but only thing on it's got kind of a wooden top that's been kind of colored in gold with your gold atomizer and like i said you got your little red sticker right here that says island lush and then it says sandalwood south pacific goldfield and banks australia support perfume spray 3.4 ounce 100 ml and yeah i got this one for a great price off of max aroma and yeah let's just jump right into it and let's see what this thing is all about so the fragrance right here came out in the year 2023 which is this year of course and the perfumer is emily jaqueen so what you're going to get with this fragrance right here you're going to get a woody you're gonna get something smooth, something warm. You're gonna get something powdery and something a bit leathery. So let's check out the notes that create this fragrance. In the top, we have some ginger and nutmeg, bergamot and pink pepper. In the mid, we have some gayak wood, iris, cedar, and geranium. In the base, we have some vetiver, leather, sandalwood, benzoin, and some patchouli. So in my opinion, this is a versatile fragrance and the notes that stand out to me in this fragrance are the leather. You can definitely pick up on the leather in this fragrance. It's like a smooth kind of an aged leather. That leather that you had, that leather that you had for a while, that got a few cracks in it. You probably need to go ahead and straighten it up. But that's the kind of soft leather I get with this one. Definitely that sandalwood sticks out. It's that type of creamy sandalwood that you get. A very woody, creamy type of scent. And this also contains one of my favorite notes, which is iris. So you're gonna get a bit of powderiness there. It's not the type of powdery that you're gonna get in the Givenchy Gentleman or like a you know Dior Homme Parfum. It's not gonna be that powdery, but this is just the right amount of powder. I would say a tad bit more powder than uh, Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir Parfum. So greatness there. I would say that you get a bit of rosiness in the undertone of this fragrance, which is probably coming from the geranium. And I say that combination of the sweetness that you get is gonna be from the combination of the iris the benzoin and probably the patchouli giving this fragrance right here a warmth and a, a pretty you know fluffy scent if that makes sense so overall to me this thing is versatile as far as uh times to wear it i would say just about any time just being a controlled climate probably below 70 degrees you'll be able to get away with rocking this one as far as in the high heat i think that it may be a tad bit too warm and a tad bit too fluffy for the warmer weather I have spent some time with this one wearing it probably wore it for like three days straight and in my opinion the projection the longevity all that stuff is good kind of going to get away from talking about hours and stuff like that i know some people care about how long a fragrance lasts and stuff like that but to me uh whatever i'm just gonna keep it at the projection good the longevity good so you can check off those boxes like i said a versatile fragrance opportunities to wear it you can dress it up you can dress it down wear it casually you can wear it formally this is some great juice now it says island lush and i do kind of get the island vibe to it i don't really know what's creating that island vibe but if you can get your nose on this one you will definitely be able to pick on something that's kind of like island tropical and I would say it's probably a combination of ginger, bergamot, the geranium, you know, the bit of rosiness that you get. And man, like I said, great stuff. I have a uh, sample, another one from this line, which was the purple one, which I think is, I forgot, I forgot what it's called, but that one reminded me of like an ombre leather, which it would kind of be redundant to get that one. So when I got a chance to check this one out, I was like, yep, yeah, 
this will probably be my first purchase from Goldfield and Banks and I am definitely satisfied with this one. So if I had to give this fragrance a rating, I would give this thing a straight up 9.0. I really enjoy this fragrance, can't get enough of it. And like I said, I'll try to drop a link where you can like sample it, get the fragrance, all this stuff. And yeah, not much more to be said about this one. Beautiful presentation, beautiful scent, solid fragrance. If you have tried Goldfield and Banks, any of those fragrances, go ahead and drop some comments below. Let me know what you think about their fragrances because I want to dive more into the house of Goldfield and Banks. And yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit your boy with some subscribe, some comments. I like chatting that over with you guys and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe, click the notification bell. And if you enjoyed the video also, leave me a like or dislike, drop some comments, you know, stuff like that. And also check out one of these videos.